Hi guys, so this is just going to be my 10 products I would repurchase um, tag video thingy majig. Um, it's basically based off if um, all your makeup exploded and uh, I don't know, maybe? Is that what it is? I'm not really sure, but if um, all your makeup was gone and you had to get 10 things. Before I get into this video, I just want to say that I made a Twitter. Um, a Twitter, a Twitter, everyone basically has a Twitter. I just made mine and I'm not really sure like how to post things on it and stuff like that, so you guys can help me, yay! Just kidding. Um, <laughs> so you can follow me on Twitter. My name is right here. Um, comment like different questions, put a whole bunch of requests that you guys would love to see, and just, yeah, so um, I kind of just set that thing up. I, I, I don't know, I just made it because, hey, other people here on YouTube have one, so I might as well just have one anyway, I don't know. If you guys want to, you know, leave comments, concerns, questions. This is basically my 10 products that I would repurchase, tag thingamahoo, if all my makeup just exploded. 10 things. So the first thing I would do, which isn't really makeup, but it's kind of a key part in applying makeup, it would have to be my Olay Active Hydrating Beauty Fluid in Original. It has such a nice scent to it. It's very subtle, it's not greasy, it's very light, and um, it's just really, it really hydrates your skin. I don't really like their SPF one, which is in the in the yellow bottle, because it, it burned my skin, with, especially with my acne medicine when I went back to using it, and it's I think it's around $13. Um, yeah, pretty much, and I mean, it's a little pricey. Um, depending on where you go, but it's totally worth it and I just love it. The next thing I have is uh, my MAC Fix Plus and I don't really use it for setting my makeup. I use it for reducing the redness on my face after I wash my face because it adds that extra moisture like after I just wash it. <laughs> I like to put my MAC Fix Plus on my skin because it reduces the redness. has a nice clean scent to it also. <laughs> it's amazing. And I only have like the 10 millimeter. Ooh. The 10 millimeter bottle. I don't have the big one, which I want to buy, but yeah. The next thing I have would have to be my Tarte Smooth Operator Micro Nice Clay Finishing Powder. It is an invisible setting powder, and it makes your skin it, uh, it, um apparently like makes your skin a lot softer and like silkier after a while, and it it really does that because I feel like my skin is getting softer after using these products such as this one. I really like Tarte's products along with their Amazonian Clay Foundation. These two together are amazing. Their products really focus on being paraben free. So the foundation that I would use would have to be my Longwear Makeup. It is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation, the 12 hour full coverage, broad spectrum, F broad, blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. I really like it because it's just so soft and kind of moussey on the skin and it just feels amazing on the skin and does, it depends on how you wear it. I usually wear a professional under it just to um, prime my face. So the next product that I use, which is a primer, which is like almost every single person's holy grail, would have to be the Urban Decay's um, eyeshadow primer potion. And I like that this is actually the professional size. It's really big. I um, I'm still on my little sample that I got from my Naked palette, but there's a lot of, it's in the old packaging and it's really small, so that's why I bought this one just in case. It was $30, but I think it's so worth it because the new packaging allows you to actually take out all of the product instead of having to cut it open and depot it like the old um, applicator and bottle thing. So I like this because it makes colors more vibrant, does increase, and it lasts like forever. So the next thing I have it would have to be my Urban Decay 24 7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Perversion. I really like it because, um, as you can see, that was just one little like swipe and it's super pigmented. It literally stays on all day. Um, and that was only when, like, see if you could see. Um, you could really see that. It's actually really blunt right now because I didn't sharpen it yet. But as you can see, it's super pigmented and it's just amazing. It lasts all day. And this is like, I swear by this. Like, if it doesn't work for you, you may come to my doorstep and shoot me. So the next thing I have would have to be my L'Oreal Carbon Black Linear Intense Tresseur Liquid Pointe Fritre. What? I'm not French. It's this liquid liner. I, I like to use it um, here. I like to use this as my liquid liner on the upper waterline, if you can see that, on my upper 
upper lash line up here because um, I wouldn't really use a pencil. It's really hard personally for me to use a pencil up there because it just gets too thick. But this one, it goes on smooth. Um, it has a felt tip, which means that, well, hello, it's made out of felt. And it, um, I don't know, it just goes on really well. I don't like the ones that are the brushes because that just is super hard to maneuver. And this one actually dries faster. My must-have favorite of all mascara would have to be my L'Oreal Voluminous... No, my L'Oreal... Not L'Oreal Voluminous, my Maybelline Volume Express Mascara Colossal, the colossal one. It is in the yellow packaging. I got mine. This one is in Glamour Black, Glamour Black. Glam Black, there you go, okay? And I love this one because it creates so much volume and length to my lashes that it just... It's amazing. Go buy it if you have eyelashes like mine. Right now I'm using the Bad Girl Lash by Benefit. I think... This is a lot cheaper and the first mascara that I ever purchased in my life and even like the L'Oreal Voluminous couldn't even compare to this one because this one. Some good chiz over here. Mm -hmm. So the second to last thing um, that I love to use, this is basically an all over eyeshadow that I would use like every day if I wore eyeshadow every day, which I don't. But you know, just included in the video, this would have to be the um, Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. I love, 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 love this one because it's really like pigmented and it's such a soft color that you can just put all over your lid with some liner and go because it's just, I don't know, it's, it's such a nice color if you can see that. Okay, so that's basically what it is. Final product, and my last of the 10, would have to be my Lipalicious, this one's from Bath & Body Works, uh, Juiced Yumberry. This one, this lip gloss, smells super, 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 super good. It's amazing. I love it because it's just, um, oh, it smells so yummy. And not so yummy. I mean, I have my little brother in here and he's just like laughing at me. What? Not. It's not one of those lip glosses that are just tacky and gross on my lips. It really soothes them, which is what I like. I would have used a baby lips one, but I really couldn't find them, and that one was actually a lot better. So, um, that is basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and please check out my latest video for a jewel-toned eye makeup look like this.